with the business of qualification for the Africa Cup of Nations completed, Uganda and Nigeria play a friendly Tuesday that can be considered a warm-up for Cameroon 2019. Uganda Cranes head coach Sebastian de Saba named an 18-man team that flew to Nigeria without skipper Dennis Onyango but with the majority of players who were in action Saturday, including goal scorer Patrick Kadu. The two goalkeepers who travelled with the team were Salim Jimla and Charles Lacuago. According to FUFA.com, the team departed on Sunday morning at 9 a.m. after the flight was delayed by six hours. The game is set for the Stephen Keshi Stadium in Asaba. Technical advisor Gernot Rohr also earlier called up stand, and captain Ahmed Musa and 22 other players for the qualifying match against South Africa's Bafana Bafana played yesterday in Johannesburg. The same group will feature in the friendly against the Cranes of Uganda at the Stephen Keshi Stadium, Asaba. Just when it looked like Gate Verde would hang on for a point, Patrick Kadu used his head to break the deadlock as Uganda qualified for their second successive African Cup of Nations finals for the first time since the 70s. Kadu popped from the blue to glance in a header from a fine cross by Godfrey Walu Simbi in the 79th minute to spark of wild celebrations by Ugandan fans. Uganda Cranes capped the performance by holding on for their fifth consecutive clean sheet at the Cameroon 2019 qualifiers with what their French coach Sebastian de Saba, 41, said is his finest achievement. Yes, he replied when asked by journalists if this was his biggest achievement as a coach. There was also a sense at the end of the match that Ugandan football history has been made and the older generation of stars are now confident a new generation of players is ready to carry cranes into the future. This is likely to be my last African Cup of Nations qualifying match in Nambul, declared captain Dennis Onyango who is yet to be beaten in the qualifiers. He has been between goal for five qualifying matches, 540 minutes without conceding. Kadu's goal not only assured Uganda of first place in Group K with one game to go. It also opened the door for Tanzania to also qualify. If the Tanzanians win in Lesotho on Sunday they will return to the African Football Showcase after a 38-year absence. Cap Verde coach Ruaguas admitted his side was second best and will be lucky to snatch second place. Kings Uganda. They deserve the win, he said, before rushing to catch a flight back to Cap Verde. Cape Verde were in the 2013 and 2017 Nations Cup finals.